Now you may think a Subaru like this is only good for gapping BMWs and hanging around the city. Not today, bitches. <laughs> Deep stuff, eh? I was gonna say. Gate ahead. Okay. Oh, he's probably the fire like watchman dude, because there's a fire tower up here. Oh yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it up here. And the nice thing is though, it's oh yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> I know. I was getting really scared. Oh, this is cool, eh? Yeah. And you were scared. I thought you were going to hit me. Okay, we're gonna drop the tire pressure a bit, I think. I don't really have any experience with off-roading, but I was just really slowly clawing my way through there. So maybe if I drop tire pressure, we'll have a little more grip. And then we're gonna have a little PB and J here and uh, let her cool down. She got a little hot, and then we'll keep going. What do you think they're at? I don't know. They're at 31. How's your bread?
girl. Those wheels are so heavy now, I have to like clutch kick it a bit to keep power. Like that's. So this might be the end of the road up here because there's a little like trench on the right hand side and the car is going to start like walking over into the side so maybe I'll try it again and if it gets too scary up there we might have to turn around and call her a day. If not, we'll keep going to the top of the mountain. So I aired down again to about 21 PSI and I thought we were stuck back there. I didn't think we, we could go any further. I was wrong. I aired down another six pounds and 21 PSI. We can just keep climbing the mountain here. Oh, this is a cool spot because we're about to pop out here. Uh, here's a video of me closing the trunk. Damn. Ooh. All right, to close out the video, I'd just like to say... You Jeep guys got nothing on this Subaru here. If your Jeep can make it up that hill we just came up, I'd sure like to see it. Bumping up the tires. We're back on the road. <laughs>